Now, let's talk about some tools that you can use. And we also want to give you some tools of how we approach client engagements. We think about things in typically three different envelopes as we approach a, a, a client opportunity or client challenge. The first one is strategically. And there are certain questions that we need to ask strategically. The first one is, who is using the space? And we get very specific about that. Who's using the space? Who's working in the space? Who's going to visit the space? What kind of people are they? What kind of car do they drive? Help us understand that. What sort of way do they receive media? Who are the people that are visiting the space? Do they fall into different groups? as they visit the space. This is one of our clients we just finished a makeover for, and they actually articulated the different groups that visited their space. Those graphics articulate the different audiences. We noticed that from our trade show and exhibit days, it's very common that we'll have a client go out to one audience one week, and four weeks later they'll go out to another audience. So we've got to create changeable message. We have one client who actually can unhook the graphics in their facility go into the closet, retrieve new graphics, depending on who the audience is that's coming to their space. It's very important, uh, that, that ability to change. When the folks come, do they receive a tour? If so, who is the guide for that tour? Now, let me give you a little tip. We all give tours. We just may not have formalized it before. But we have a client who actually formalized that process. I'll show you a map that we uh, worked on with their agency to try to pace those messages. But all of us give tours. What we need to find out is who's giving the tour? Has anybody ever written down the tour? What's on the tour? What's the dialogue? And does that tour need to be enhanced, right? Because just like you, and it's okay, it's okay, we're friends. As I'm talking, some of you, it's okay, we won't point you out, are glazing and going into a happy, comfortable place away from here. Well, when we give a tour sometimes of our facility, we do that. It's like that old far side, if you're old enough to remember far side, where the dog is listening to the master, and the master says, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, Fido, blah, 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 Fido. The only thing the dog recognizes is their name. So we're going on these tours sometimes, and we just kind of zone out. So we found that if we could give people a combination of things, I have four children. And they're all boys. So in my focus group, uh, I have found out that they learn differently. Some are kinesthetic learners. Some are auditory learners. Some are visual learners. Similarly, we forget that adults are the same way. Some of us learn by seeing things and processing it that way. And some of us learn by hearing things and processing it that way. And some of us learn by reading things and processing it that way. So we believe that tours should be prompted by graphics as you go through the space. Todd Austin uh, came up with this last point, and I love this, and that is the question comes, what conversations do you want to start as folks visit your facility? What conversations do you want to spark or start as folks visit your facility? So we've got a strategy set of questions that we ask to try to formulate what our design plan would be. The next set of questions that we ask is what we call a discovery set of questions. Those things include how would you describe your business? How would you describe what business you're in? What is your company mission and vision? I love this uh, client. Uh, where is this customer? Do you remember? I'm putting you on the spot. You'll think of it in a moment. Um, it's a customer of ours located not here, in Georgia, uh, and they have a credit union, and their key phrase there is helping you to achieve financial balance. And there is a graphic of stacked stones behind them. I love this shot. They actually sent it to us uh, as kind of a thank you. Their staff all looking proud there in the neat team photo. But that simply says, what is their vision? They want to help you achieve financial balance. Well, that, that's great, isn't it? I mean, that really is what it is. It's more than, we want to be a bank, we want to loan you money, we want to hold your savings. We want to help you achieve financial balance. The next question comes is, how would you describe your value proposition? Uh, this is uh, our new Nashville resident, uh, Mars Pet Care, and their five principles of quality, responsibility, uh, and this great picture of this dog to remind us of the business space that they play in. 
how do we describe that value proposition? The next question is, uh, what differentiates you in the marketplace? Is there a brand guide or a marketing piece that accurately reflects that brand and key message? I love this statement. I can't read it all here. But it starts with, we love dogs, again, from, from uh, Mars Pet Care. And it goes on and it says, we're for walks and runs and romps and digging and scratching and sniffing and fetching. Um, we're for dog parks, dog doors, and dog days. And it goes on to say that if there were a national holiday for dogs, we'd be for it. And it goes on to say, because we're for dogs. Now, could their message be any more clear to you of what space they're in? They're for dogs. And with these huge visuals that you see and even our, our uh, lift there in front for the installation. And if you had to personalize your brand or refer to it in a descriptive way, how would you do that? Well, part of, uh, from this Mars installation, part of their care for animals is also a care for the environment. And so their conference rooms are all emblazoned with this beautiful environmental treatment of grass and outdoors. And they bring that inside because it fits. It's a companion to the way they describe their brand. Other questions to ask is what is your brand like or not like? How would you describe your team's core values? And what messages do you want to reinforce internally? And then we always ask, what is your budget? Because we believe very strongly the fact that we've got to do this within a reasonable amount of expectation. And we would come across in a very inappropriate way today if we didn't convey to you that that may be one of the most important things you need to know about us, is we take time and money budgets very seriously. We have a mantra that we say internally, no negative surprises, only positive surprises. So we're going to ask what a client's budget expectations is, and we're going to try to work with that. But even if you were doing this on your own, you're going to need to get what senior management's budget expectation is, and you're going to have to formulate your plan within that. And then what is the deadline that we're going to be facing? Uh, because we also want to pace that within uh, the, the appropriate amount of time.